Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. How are you on this wonderful day? For today's message I'm going to be looking at the Divine Masculine Collective Twin Flame Energies and if you would like a personal reading or if you would like coaching into your Twin Flame Union please check the description box below and we can go jumping straight in with the first card. My friends keep telling me I made a big mistake in letting you go. I want to fix things between us. I just don't know how to make things right at this time. You can make things right and lead the way in making things right. Using your spiritual tools and intellect to navigate the path ahead, but above all, your heart. You can manifest anything, including the illusion of separation. Even if your senses tell you that I'm over here, I'm right here with you in divine truth. And your job is to root out all the illusions so you can experience a fluid reality of truth only. I embrace my inner child and view the world through with a childlike curiosity. I nurture myself and I'm open to love and play with life. So root out all the places in your heart as part of the inner child healing where you're still giving power to the illusion of separation because these places feel bad and you don't see the truth, the divine truth. Now that you're getting something from this process, whatever it is you're going to gain, you're going to grow and transform as a result of today. Know that I'm loving you through the process. Because in loving or something, one is transformed by it. King of Winter, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional. Get advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. I'm stepping into a deeper clarity of mind and can perceive the truth. It's the divine who always leads, but we're being provided with an objective point of view and we'll be able to make decisions based on our hearts and impartial judgment. And you are also well positioned to judge your situation appropriately and identify any limiting behaviours getting in the way. You're also masterful at keeping your emotions in check while you draw upon your power and clarity to establish the truth. There may be a professional advisor coming into your life, or mine. And this advisor has a vast amount of knowledge in their particular field. They will draw upon their experience and have an innate understanding of the structures to give you well-researched advice. And they can provide only the most relevant guidance to you and to me. It may be worthwhile gaining some sort of professional advice at this time. If you're expecting changes or particular circumstances that will require an expert opinion, you can be on the front foot by seeking help before they happen. And the outcome will be very beneficial. There we go. Helpful people. So you're being asked to claim your support at this time. It's okay to be vulnerable if with people with whom you know you're going to be safe in being vulnerable with. It will help you attain a certain level of faith. And faith will always pay off one way or another exactly how you need. That's what the divine is providing for you. Dance with life. Do something to change your energy. Well, if you're feeling the desire, all you have to do with the desire is follow it wherever it leads you. 
and do what it asks. To nurture and satisfy it. That's serving the divine and yourself as a child of the divine. Loving you is knowing what true love is. There's no logical explanation for my feelings. My heart only responds to yours. You are my endless love. The woman of my dreams is who you are and you're desiring me and I'm desiring you. How do you think I'm feeling right now in my heart? What does the divine see about the situation? It's okay to connect with the divine here and choose to invite the divine into our union. I am connected to all life within the universe. The universe blesses me and my divine partner with our connection to each other and all things. We are infinitely connected. The love and the desire of something is the very same as the thing itself. And all you have to do is be with it, be with your desire and love it and let yourself desire it. Romance yourself with it. It's already yours. This is the prelude to dating and it will evolve naturally into the physical manifestation of its perfection in its perfect state. Two of autumn. So maybe a little bit of juggling going on at this time and that's okay. I may be... Well, I'm making, uh, I mean, I'm in a place, space of decision making from in a place of clarity. Bring fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs and exceptional talent for multitasking, maintaining balance, infinite connection, infinite relationship, perfect pair, dense manifestation. Balancing emotions with life. Even if it don't look perfect, it's still going to work. Work. It's worth it. Wing it, because this is forever. It's right. Things will sort themselves out. We are working together on this. Even if it looks like we're doing different things, we're working together on this and we're co-creating. Brainstorming. Weighing up. Finding balance. Making a decision. Getting clear on our values, deciding which of our desires are really important right now. <clears throat> Unlikely. So it's just a little nudge to keep inviting the divine into your life and romance yourself. Don't forget the divine. Only the divine is worth all of this. <sighs> the reason the journey's been so arduous and we've come all this way is because union with the divine is what it's really, really for. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Is the sacred call of your twin flame in your heart is the sacred call to the divine and to physically manifest the perfection of our union in its perfect state we must meet it with love and the only thing that will meet you with you loving is love itself and that was the divine thing you saw all along love as something is union with it you're already one with it you already have it just be with it honour it and grow it it's yours in all ways. Always. Well, what's the one lesson bringing us closer to each other? To be with the divine. Romance. The divine. That's what produces amazing results. I'm in a relationship with someone else. Still you're always on my mind and in my heart. All I want is you. 
You're just playing out a pattern. Remember, you're in the presence of a man who's never been loved before. So this is huge. I've been waiting for this moment with you my whole life. So I'll present all the upsets and patterns for you to love me through. So it's so healing for me. It will draw me to you because I can't run away from the truth because this is everything I've ever dreamed of. I can't stuff it down with the lies. I can't numb out anymore because you're presenting the better feeling because that's what I want in my heart. Not control, not manipulation. This is what real power is. The power of love to resolve all upsets, dissolve all illusions, reveal the truth, love, not fear. By making a new choice to feel your feelings like you never have before. Stand in your full power, your spiritual power. <clears throat> Be with the divine if that's what I'm seeking to ground me and make me feel safe. Address the deeper thing with logic. Connect me to the truth by logical foundation. So, I can't say misaligned stuff anymore. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.